A report issued by FIFA and FIFPRO, the global union for football players, found that one in five players at this year's World Cup were subjected to online abuse, with the U.S. national team the most targeted squad at the tournament. Two players, understood to be the United States' Megan Rapino and Argentina's Yamila Rodriguez, were targeted more than any others. More than 20% of the abuse was homophobic and more than 15% was sexual in nature, the report found. The female players were 28.5% more likely to be subjected to abuse than male players at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Time equals 400 ms. Greater than the hatred and abuse that exists online is a social crisis that touches individuals all over the world and cannot be simply ignored or easily shrugged off, the report reads. In professional football, this toxic online environment is a difficult and risky place to be in for players. The risks and mental health challenges associated with being victim of online abuse are real and have a direct and immediate effect on players. Hatred and discrimination in the online environment can be damaging at both a personal and professional level, negatively impacting the player's ability to be and perform at their best. The report was created by the Social Media Protection Service, SMPS, which was unveiled in 2022 as a joint effort by FIFA and FIFPRO. World Cup players who opt into the service have their social media accounts on X, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok and YouTube monitored, and abusive comments on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube are hidden by the service. According to the report, SMPS monitored more than 2,000 accounts and flagged and hid 116,000 abusive posts out of 1.3 total comments. X, Twitter and TikTok do not allow this feature. Rapino is outspoken about social issues and has knelt during the national anthem before matches. Rodriguez has a tattoo of Cristiano Ronaldo on her leg, which made some in Argentina think she preferred the Portuguese star to countryman Lionel Messi. In July, Rodriguez responded to her critics on Instagram, Please stop, I'm not having a good time. At what point did I say that I'm anti-Messi? She wrote, Time equals, 400 ms, greater than, I'm not having a bad time because of you, fans, but for the atrocities that are said, without mercy. Can't you have an idol or a player you like? Messi is our great captain in the national team but the fact that I say that my inspiration and my idol is County Route 7 does not mean that I hate Messi. What is the problem? We are not all obliged to only love the players of our country. The report also found that politicians' messages of support or commiseration cause spikes of abuse, particularly in the United States. The report recommends briefing campaign, U.S. authorities and political operatives of the knock-on effects from senior politicians sending support, particularly with the United States set to co-host the next World Cup in 2026.